guys, so long time no see. Um, this video, we are going to be doing our pregnancy update, and these weeks are going to be 25 through 28. The last time I seen you, not much was going on, and this time, not much is going on either. Like I said, I've like I've had a great pregnancy so far. I haven't had any slip-ups, boo-boos, or nothing like that. So let's just get started about what's going on. So um, I still have heartburn out the wazoo. Heartburn is the most, like from a scale to 1 to 10, my heartburn is like a 10 on a good day. Um, it, it comes randomly. I can eat a banana and... Bananas are supposed to help you with heartburn, I've heard, but no, bananas tear me up. So it can come spur of the moment. The heartburn just comes up. So I don't know what's going on inside my body, but he, I keep telling people um, he's either going to have a lot of hair or he's going to be bald headed. He's going to be a werewolf or he's going to be just like slick bald because this heartburn is powerful and it's staying and it's not going nowhere. And I have to buy Zantac like every two weeks. So, um, yeah, I have to get some today. <laughs> so, yeah, heartburn is just like tearing me up, but it's going to be worth it in the end. Um, my chest, um, I told y'all last time and the time before um, that my chest, it kind of looks like a rash or something is going on with it. So, the good thing is um, it hasn't spread. It's just like right here in this area and on my neck. But the bad thing is like, I still don't know what to do to um, make it go away. So it hasn't gone away, but it hasn't spread. So I'm guessing this is just like one of those things that's gonna have to go away after he's born. So I'm not really worried about it because um, like with maternity pictures and things like that, when I wanna take them, I could, um, you know, just cover it up with makeup. So. I'm not too worried about that, but I'm glad it hasn't spread up to this point. Um, oh, another thing is, um, with the weight that I've gained, um, I have short pain sometimes in my left leg. And I mean, with that, I've read online and stuff that a lot of people have that, so I'm not worried about that either. Um, it just comes out of nowhere and it kind of makes me almost, you know, catch myself. So, um, it only hurts for a couple of seconds and then it just like goes away. The feeling is just like a short pain or just the burning sensation just shoots through your leg. So you you know what I'm saying when you have to kind of catch yourself because it catches you off guard. But it definitely catches me off guard but it goes away and you know, I know it's not hurting him, it hurts me. And I would rather for it, something to hurt me rather hurt him. So it's not too bad guys. And um, a good thing is that I'm excited about, and I'm always excited about this, because you know, from the beginning, I was like, I can't wait to feel him kick. I'm so ready. So now his kicks are more powerful. And one time, like two weeks ago, when I was watching Empire, I felt like a whole foot or a whole elbow or a whole something come out, and it scared me to death, guys. It scared me to death. I was like, did, did he just do that? Like, cause I'm used to those small kicks, um, the hiccups that, you know, make your belly just go like that. But this time it was just like, mama, I'm here. So, um, that scared me, but I'm, I'm more excited now. Like, I can't wait till one of them comes again. I can't wait to like actually see a handprint or a footprint or, you know, an elbow through the side of my stomach for some reason. Like, I'm just excited for that. And I'm excited for Vic too because he is like, he was feeling my stomach the other day. And he was like, oh my God, the baby is stuck right here. And I'm like, he's not stuck. He's just like, I don't know, camped out under my tits. <laughs> All right, guys, so our last um, video just cut off on me. So I'm going to start where I think it cut off. Um, but yeah, I just had to change the SD card. But anywho, um, so the baby likes to stay on my right side for some reason and I'm just like, so when he's born, that's probably going to be his comfort, you know, spot, like lay him on his right side, even though I think he's supposed to lay babies on the back, right? I mean, I should figure this out before he comes, right? I don't know. Um, anywho, he loves to stay on my right side. Um, my blood pressure the last time that I went to the doctor is 164 over 16, which is really good. 
So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm staying on top of, like, my blood pressure and my salt gain, making sure it's down and stuff so um, I can be healthy for him. And I don't have any swelling in my legs or or arms or wherever you get swelling at. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get swelling right now. So I guess that I'm staying hydrated enough and um, drinking enough water for him because um, when we got the 3D exam, they said that he had like a good amount of fluid around him. So that is a plus guys. I'm really like, I'm really trying to stay healthy for him in this pregnancy. So I'm doing a-okay. Thumbs up if you think I'm doing a-okay so far. Um, the last appointment, I'm not sure if I mentioned in the last video because I don't know if I had got it then, but I got a flu shot for the first time because they say that um, you should get a flu shot if you're pregnant because not only does it help you, but it helps your baby. And that was the first time I got a flu shot. So I didn't know how it should feel. I didn't know how my body would react to it because I always thought that when you got it, you would automatically get sick to, um, I don't know. I just thought you would automatically get sick when you got the flu shot the first time or any time, but I didn't get sick, but my arm did hurt for like a week because they put it like straight in the deltoid. But um, yeah, so baby's gonna be good when February comes, February or January, whenever he decides to show his face. So he'll be good and it'll be cold around that time in Tennessee, Knoxville in particular. So um, yeah, he, he'll be good guys. And this time, a few, few days ago, I went to the doctor and I got the Tdap shot, which is also in the deltoid, which is also in the same arm. But um, that one is for like um, whooping cough and locked jaw and something else. So, I, I whatever is good for him, you know, if they recommend something for me to for me to take for him, you know, I'm gonna do it because this is my first child. I want to make sure he's healthy. I want to make sure I'm healthy to be able to take care of him. So. I'm gonna do it, and I did it. Um, th we did take 3D pics last time. I'm not sure if I can insert them because I don't know um, if Dick wants me to put it on YouTube right now. So um, that might, we might have to wait on that, guys. But um, I can tell you, he don't look like me at all. I feel like I'm just carrying this baby for my husband because he looks just like. He looks just like Vic. When I put his baby pictures side by side to my babies, um, they look just alike. And I'm just like, no features in him at all resemble mine. So, um, guys, he's going to come out looking straight like daddy. And I'm okay with that because my husband is fine. <laughs> um, his name, I can't really discuss the name yet. And you guys... I mean, if I can't put his picture up, I can't really show his name. Um, we just want to take this time to, um, us and our family, take this time to just, like, call him by his name and just, like, let him recognize our voices and just not put his name out there. One part is because <clears throat> I feel like when you announce your baby's name um, to the public, that's the first judgment that your baby get for some reason. Because people are going to be like, I don't like that or I love that. And I just don't want people to be like, I hate that name. Why did she come up with that? So, I don't know. It's just something inside of me that I don't want my baby to be judged just yet. I'm like, I don't know. I guess I'm kind of like Mama Bear, just keeping him safe. Just like, nobody is going to know the name but my family until I'm ready to release it. And um, the good thing about it is um, my family loves the name. So... Um, that's pretty good and it's not ghetto and it's I feel like it's a strong name so um yeah I'll, I'll let you guys know at some point I'll let you guys know where it came from and why I like it but this is not gonna be the time sorry guys uh, no craving so far um, Last time I was like craving and loving Cinnabon, but right now I have no cravings at all. It's just like he loves everything. Whatever I eat, he's just like, okay, I'm good with it. So I don't have any cravings. Nothing makes me nauseous. Um, well, I have been wanting some yogurt and I don't really eat yogurt, but I have been kind of wanting that lately. Well, not lately, in the past two days. So I guess I'm going to get some yogurt, but other than that, I don't, I don't really crave anything. He just, he just likes whatever. Um, 
I'm sleeping more, just like in the first trimester, where I slept a lot. I'm sleeping more, but I'm not sleeping as much as I was then. I'm in my third trimester now, so they say it's pretty common that I'll get sleepy now. But the problem with that is I'm sleepy, but that's when he wakes up. So it's like I'm trying to sleep, but he's just like kicking me ready to play circus or something because he is just like going at it in my stomach. So um, I can't really sleep every time. Like I get up and use the bathroom at least three times during the night. So um, every time I get up and come back down, he's just like, yay. So he moves, I try to sleep and it just don't quite equal up yet. So I'm hoping that he will learn a sleep schedule or learn my sleep schedule so that he can go to sleep when I do because when he gets here, I feel like I'm gonna try to go to sleep at night and he's gonna be wanting to be up. So I hope he learns the sleep schedule now. But um, I think that's all guys, other than I've been having a great pregnancy like I've been saying, no complications at all. I did take my glucose test a couple of days ago, so I'm hoping that that comes back negative, that I don't have gestational diabetes. So please cross your fingers for me about that because I really, I don't know, I've always said the three things that I don't want in life are diabetes, cancer, and Alzheimer's. So, um, I don't know guys, please pray for me about that so I don't have gestational diabetes and I can continue being healthy for him. Um, but yeah, I've had a great pregnancy so far and I bet you guys are wanting to see my stomach. So, um, this is the end of the video and I love you.